Hey everyone, today we're going to be making crispy roast pork belly. For starters, I have a really solid piece of skin on pork belly and what I'm using is a jacquard tool and that's a tool that we're going to go ahead and pierce the skin with tiny little needles uh, to help with the drying and the rendering of fat. Now if you don't have one of those tools, don't worry, you can use a needle or you can use a fork with uh, sharp tines. Now we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of uh, cooking sherry on the flesh side of this pork belly and then we're going to make a really cool mix and it's Chinese five spice powder, white pepper and salt. We're going to go ahead and mix it up and then we're going to evenly coat it onto the flesh side of the pork belly. The smell is amazing. That, that five spice really really gives it the, the characteristic I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and rub it in and really try to work it into the meat. Then we'll flip it over. I'm going to just pat this dry to get any extra moisture off. And then we're going to go ahead and put it in our fridge. And we're going to do that because I want to start the drying process on the skin. And I also want to get that flavor, the spice, to, a chance to get into the flesh. So, you know, put it in 12 to 24 hours later. We're going to remove it and we'll move on to the next step. I'm going to preheat an oven to 350 degrees. And then I'm going to take some foil and we're going to create sort of a, a barrier and what's going to happen is it's going to protect the sides of the pork belly from burning. We'll put the pork belly in flesh side down and then we're going to take the foil and we're going to fold it to protect the flesh side. Next we're going to go ahead and put a nice thin layer of white vinegar on top of the skin side. Rub that in. It's going to give it some flavor and it's going to also help with the, the roasting. And then we're going to put a layer of kosher salt or coarse sea salt on top of the skin. Now the salt has to be coarse because we don't want fine pieces going into the pierced skin and making this very salty. That coarse salt is going to season a little bit but it's also going to create a barrier from the heat so that it doesn't over roast the skin while we're trying to roast the pork belly itself. We're gonna go for about an hour and then we're gonna remove it. And then carefully, I'm gonna remove the salt crust. Again, the key is to get all that salt off. You see how the skin now it is not burnt? The flesh side is very tender, but the skin side is now pliable. It has started to render out, but it's not overcooked at this point. Get all the extra salt off the top and then we're going to put it in, uh, put it back on a pan and then we're going to put it in the oven on the broiler setting and we're going to give it a chance to crisp up. As you can see all of that fat has rendered out. It's really crispy, it's bubbly. Some of the sides are a little dark. If it starts to get too dark just put a piece of foil on it. But we're good to go here. So here we have our crispy roast pork belly and I'm just dying to get into this thing. A couple of things I want to note is, you know, you really want the skin to be crispy. And so that is why we poke all those holes. When you puncture the skin, it gives the fat a place to come out when the skin is rendering. And that's what gives you the crispiness and all these little uh, bubbly, crispy pockets of happiness here. Um, this is made in a Chinese style version, but it's also very similar to lechon, if you like that. Uh, totally worth making at least once in your life. and. You know, just looking at this brings back memories of when, when my dad and I used to go to Chinatown really early in the morning on weekends and he would get roast pork, some green onions, and we would eat that with hot uh, rice and tea. So before I dive into this piece of uh, crispy pork here, don't forget, for more recipes like this, visit us at foodland.com. Mmm, crispy. Mmm.